going on YouTube? It's Cody here from Big Time Battery bringing you some big time information. In today's video, we'll be covering CA or cranking amps and CCA or cold cranking amps. These are the standards that most battery companies use to rate the output and capacity of a battery. All in all, think of these like performance attributes, such as horsepower in the automotive industry. CCA or cold cranking amps is a rating used in the battery industry to define a battery's ability to start an engine in cold temperatures. This measurement is not particularly important in deep cycle batteries, though it is the most commonly known and frequently used battery measurement. We'll have to cover its correlation to deep cycle batteries in another video. As for now, let's focus on CCA or cold cranking amps. CCA measurements assure that the battery has sufficient power to crank the engine, especially when cold. Typically, CCA readings for a car range from 350 to 600 amps and tend to be a little higher for trucks. Why cold? Well, generally speaking, it is easier to start an engine in a warm environment than in a cold one. Ask anyone who lives in a cold climate with a high mileage diesel truck, snowmobile, ATVs, and other power sports automotives. It takes a long time to start some vehicles, whether that is due to high compression engines, extremely cold climates, or a mixture of both. I often hear people say, I'm going to buy the battery with the most cold cranking amps I can find. Yes, while more may be better, it may not be necessary. CCA directly applies to the amount of starting power your vehicle will draw upon starting. The battery will send an electrical jolt of energy to the engine, jump starting the electrical circuitry throughout the vehicle. Next, it will continue to keep the current steady. Not only does your battery provide the energy required to start your car, it's also stabilizing the voltage in order to keep your engine running. CCA, or cold cranking amps, in technical talk, is the number of amperes a lead acid battery at 0 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 18 degrees Celsius, can deliver for 30 seconds while still maintaining a terminal voltage above 7.2 volts or equal to 1.2 volts per cell. Moving on to CA, or cranking amps, this is another standard that battery companies use to rate the output and capacity of a battery. Very similar to cold cranking amps or CCAs, but these tests take place in a moderate to normal environment, 32 degrees to be exact. In technical talk, CA or cranking amps is the number of amperes a lead acid battery at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius, can deliver for 30 seconds to pass, the voltage must stay above 7.2 volts, or once again, 1.2 volts per cell. In other words, cranking amps determine how much power you have to start your car in most climates. Going back to what I said earlier, buying a battery strictly based on CCAs or cold cranking amps is not always your best bet. Here, at Big Time Battery, we've developed a way to push more lead into our products, creating a heavier, more powerful battery. When you buy a PowerStar or Banshee brand battery, you are obtaining the longest warranty in the industry. Why is it the longest? Because we are confident that our technology and our products will provide our customers with consistent energy that powers them through any climate or temperature range. You receive sealed AGM batteries with thicker, heavier plates, more lead in return, which means more battery life and more starting power. I hope this video helped you guys gain a better perspective and grasp of cranking amps and cold cranking amps. Comments, questions, concerns, leave them below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible.